Okay, I'm trying to dig in already, but I guess I'll wait. I guess I'll be patient. I'm just so excited because we are back in our outdoor kitchen with the great Greek. We've got owner Nick De La Pena and chef and general manager Fuji Martinez. Thank you both so much for joining us. How are you? We're fabulous. Thank you for having us today. Um, I love the great Greek so much. So you guys are cooking up a, one of my favorite meats. I love lamb. And you guys are cooking up this lamb souvlaki. Can you tell me about this dish and how it ranks in your list of favorites at the restaurant? We are. So the lamb sabaki plate is something that we added about three or four years ago. Um, again, we have many proteins. Lamb has become one of our more popular ones. Oh. Um, we have chicken, we have steak tenderloin, uh, shrimp, salmon, but lamb has become a uh, very popular uh, sabaki plate for us, as well as the lamb chops, which we're seeing right now. Well, I know you guys make, I know firsthand that you guys make lamb really well, but why do you think it's gaining in popularity? I don't know. I think people are just ex exploring a little bit more. Okay. I mean, chicken is chicken, tenderloin is tenderloin. I think people are exploring more. Um, and when you're in the Greek space, lamb is kind of the popular item. So. Oh, true. Totally. Okay. So um, congratulations also on your uh, new restaurant. Tell me about the new location. So we're really excited. We opened up uh, in the Arts District downtown. So we're at 801 South Main Street. Uh, Fuji Martinez is the chef and general manager. Um, we're down in the Arts District. It's, you know, all of our other locations are kind of scattered throughout the valley. This yeah. is our first foray into the locals uh, downtown market and it's just a unique location. As you can see, we've got that live 20-foot olive tree in the middle of the dining oh, room. gorgeous! So um, it's a different location, but yeah. um, we're thrilled to be at the Herbert downtown. Okay, well, you know what? I can't wait to try it there because I've been to your other locations and I know it's so good. So I'm going to dig in again to this lamb souvlaki plate. So um, if you, I don't know if you want to cook some up, give us a little uh, taste because I'm going to stuff my face now. For, Fuji's going to start <laughs> cooking. Okay. Very good. Oh, yeah. That's really good. So your guys is, I mean, what makes great Greek different from other Greek restaurants in town? So for a fast casual environment, you know, everything, it's not all about speed, but it's fast casual for a reason, yeah. right? They, they want it in a quick manner. And we're able to execute, we cook everything in house. It's a scratch kitchen. We cut all of our produce all day long. Fuji and his team are just chopping lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers mm -hmm. all day long. Um, we make all of our desserts, all of our dressings, all of our dips and spreads in house. So they're as fresh as they can be. Also, I have to say, if you're if you're looking to expand and maybe you haven't tried lamb and this is uh, your time, this is so good. Also, your baba ganoush. I don't know what you guys do to it, but oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah, again, it's it just all made <laughs> fresh every day in house, and Fuji and his team do an amazing job. Okay. They work open to close, prepping everything fresh. All right, we're going to check back in with you guys. Uh, let's pull up some information on the Great Greek. We are back in our outdoor kitchen with the Great Greek Mediterranean Grill. We are here with owner Nick De La Pena and general manager Fuji Martinez. Thank you both so much for sticking around and for cooking even more delicious food. Absolutely. We're thrilled to be here. Okay, so this time you guys are making a chicken souvlaki rice bowl, right? We are, we mm. are, yeah. Again, as I mentioned earlier, we have a bunch of different protein skewers. Chicken is one of our more popular ones, and we've got an amazing rice bowl, which um, has tons of fresh vegetables, a cup of rice, peel off in the middle, and again, you can top it with, with any skewer you want, and today Fuji's gonna make the uh, chicken souvlaki. So. All right, Fuji, now while you do that, talk to us about all the locations that Great Greek has. So yeah, again, we're, we're, we're thrilled to, to be opening the one downtown at 801 South Main Street. The original one is right down the street here. It's behind Sunset Station at oh. Stephanie and Warm Springs. I didn't realize that was the original. That's the original one that's been around for 10 years. Okay. We opened up our second at Blue Diamond and Decatur in the southwest part of town. We have one at Craig Road and I-95 in the northwest and your store over at St. Rose Parkway across from the Raiders practice facility. I have to say, every time uh, my husband and I don't know what to have for dinner, we always end up at the Great Greek. It's so delicious. And not that many food, uh, many restaurants travel well, this one does. 
It, so, it really does. Yeah. It sure does. Okay, so um, talk to me about what makes your chicken souvlaki stand out above the rest. Uh, you made me a plate here. Uh, and talk to me about the tzatziki sauce too because I, I can't have it, but I hear it's delicious. So the tzatziki sauce is, it, it, it's a special family recipe from generations back. And um, again, it, we, we use the freshest ingredients, very, very high quality ingredients. We don't skimp on anything. And again, we make everything in-house virtually every day. I can taste all of the spices that your chicken is grilled with. I mean, just delicious flavors and spices. Um, your pita bread is addicting. It is, it is, <laughs> it is. It's, it's one of my favorite things and I try to stay away from it, but I can't. I do too. Okay, <laughs> any plans to expand even more in the future? I mean, I know we're celebrating your new one, but we gotta talk about the future. Exactly, we actually opened up two, two restaurants in Palm Beach County, Florida as well. Um, really? But, yes, but here in the Valley, we have uh, two more under development. One of them on the east side of town. We're going to be going on Nellis and Sahara. Okay. And then we're also going to be going into the Bend across from Ikea, that large entertainment yeah. complex across from Ikea. Amazing. So that'll probably be about 12 months. Uh, the one on the east side should open up by the end of this year. And we're also franchising. We have 11 franchise units open around the country. Okay. And another about 120 in development in various wow. stages around the country. Congratulations, that's a very successful and I can see why it's delicious. Talk to me very briefly about your desserts because no meal is complete, especially not a Greek one with some baklava. Exactly, so we've got <laughs> some amazing baklava. And again, we make in house. We've got baklava ice cream. And then we actually have some rice pudding as well. Mm. Alyssa, if you'd like to try that. Our, Rice pudding is out of this world. Okay, I'm gonna try that. As we pull up some information on Great Greek, here's the rice pudding, mm, I'm so excited. Uh, here's the information, multiple valley locations. Newest location is downtown, 801 Main Street. Go to the Arts District, get some amazing Greek food. Thank you both again so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. All right, Jace.